El Clasico. Barcelona against Real Madrid. And somebody will have their hands on this come the end of the night, the first piece of silverware in the Spanish domestic season. We'll mix better with Piquet. Plus, if you remember in, in the second game, in the 1-1, uh, you saw Busquets becoming the centre-back higher up, which is what, what you have to do to play the, 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 the brand of football that we're throwing the place. There is the Barcelona lineup tonight. That was a big loss for them. You have character, you have someone that is uh, good in the air and is quick. With regard to the role that he plays in the middle, how influential could he be on the game? He's trying to control the space uh, around Messi, you know, and Messi is, uh, is very quick. Uh, has the freedom, so I think that the, these three players they will try to close the, this space and don't allow Barcelona to, to move the ball in this area that is the, the most uh, dangerous area. To get a third number nine, the three of them are going to be on the bench tonight. So no uh, Adebayor, which would have put uh, probably Marcelo in, in trouble, no, no uh, Benzema and no Wayne. It's the third of five El Clasicos this season. Somebody by the end of the night will have their hands on Spain's Copa del Rey. Let's cross to the commentary team. Jerry Armstrong is alongside Kevin Keatings. Thanks, Mark. Good evening, everyone. Pep Guardiola has described this sequence of Clasico matches as a gift to world football. An unprecedented run of Real Madrid Barcelona matchups. Part three it is this season of five. He came on and certainly made a difference off the bench in the League Clasico on Saturday. Messi. There you go. Similar to the one at the other end, the referee at least is consistent, Undiana Malenko. Sergio Ramos didn't try to get out of the way, and he's given a free kick for exactly the same offence as at the other end. Yeah, it's carbon copy, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, if he's consistent like that tonight, the referee, I don't think anybody can complain. Just putting out their star players, been some whispers that the Barcelona players perhaps getting a little tired at this stage of the season no rest since many of them of course are in that Spain World Cup winning team here's one of them Xavi good work Real Madrid closing down quite well working hard but you expect that early on and I think from a fitness point of view they look probably fitter they played certainly two games fewer this season this is their 51st game of the season for Real Madrid it's the 53rd for Barcelona no orthodox Number nine for Real Madrid tonight. Ronaldo ostensibly playing that role, but he'll drift and there'll be an onus on Mesut Ozil to slide into that gap. Eminently capable of doing that, the German international. Ronaldo, another one having a great season. He's ex exceeded his goals from last season, 41 goals so far. Lionel Messi's goal stats since the start of last season are truly amazing. 100 games for Barcelona has produced 96 goals. Forward by Iniesta. Marcelo's challenge on Pedro. Barcelona still on the front foot. A little heavy the pass though from Alves. Too much for Villa. Both clubs with around 20,000 fans inside this packed Mestalla Stadium, creating quite an atmosphere. Just waiting for this little spark from so many top players to play on the park, but I forgot about Pinto at the other end. 35. Body in between the ball and Kadira. This is a bad challenge. That's Pepe. That's a bad challenge, Kevin. That's another one should have been a yellow card. You don't get any complaints from the little man though, do you? He just gets on with it. Messi. Will he crown this stage with his 50th goal of the season? Di Maria. Offside against Ronaldo. Yeah, he's well offside. He shouldn't be in that wide position. Messi. Good tackle. Fed in towards Villa, well policed by Sergio Ramos. And Carvalho thought there was a little deflection there. Busquets doing a good job there on Alonso. Lionel Messi. Good tackle. Well done, Marcelo. Another Barcelona corner. 
Worked short this time by Messi. Alves. Another look like reaching Messi. Alves with a follow-up shot, though. Breaks off Cavallo. Barcelona's third corner in quick succession. Well, the follow-up shot, Kevin, from Danny Alves was better than the initial pass, I have to say. Okay, some profit. There's an uncharacteristic lack of movement from Barcelona tonight. Do they look rocked? by what they're getting from yeah, the I treatment they're getting from Real. The game plan of uh, Real Madrid is, is working now because we say they are aggressive and then Barcelona is not comfortable in possession. Fair to say, Guillaume, that it's all going to plan for the opposite number to Pep Guardiola. Completely. This is how Real Madrid wanted this game to take place. And I'm amazed that uh, Barcelona are reacting so late to it. I'm pretty sure we're going to see a different Barcelona, but it's been occasions where Xavi had only one option of pass, only one. I've never seen that for years at Barcelona. And that's, yes, because the midfield is populated, because they're very, very aggressive, but because there's something missing in Barcelona, sharpness and movement, be it physical or emotional or whatever it is, we're just not seeing the best Barcelona, because they know by heart exactly what they have to do, what they've been doing for the last three, four years, but they're not doing it tonight. Body language, the difference between Mourinho and Pep Guardiola marked then at half-time. Pep looks more anxious of the two. Um, how did Barca go about changing the tempo of the game, Rafa? Yeah. Somebody will get their hands on the cup. Back to the commentary team. Jerry Armstrong's alongside Kevin Keatings. King Juan Carlos watches on. We all watch on, enthralled as to what this second 45 minutes. Well, it's been Barcelona have been mouse-like for most of this Copa del Rey final. They're attacking now with some intent. Lovely touch from Villa. Down goes Iniesta. A little inquiry of referee Undiano Mayenko, but no free kick. It might have even been a shout for a penalty for Iniesta. Did he get into the box before he felt he was touched? He was outside the box, but he was impeded by Arbeloa. Clever little flick outside of the right foot from David Villa, and Arbeloa did exactly what he had to do. He's put his arm and his body across Andres Iniesta. It was a free kick, but it was outside the penalty. I say the referee had a very good view of that and said no. Here's Messi. And that will break off Ricardo Cavallo for a corner. We need to get more Messi on the ball, more Iniesta on the ball, more Pedro on the ball. Those are the players that make it happen for Barcelona. And that it was well timed by Cavallo. Marcelo, it's a well weighted pass for Cristiano Ronaldo. Under pressure from Mascherano, couldn't find the accurate pass. Here's Alves. Xavi. Here's Messi. Oh, that's a bad challenge. Yellow card for Xavi Alonso. Well, he knew the danger there, didn't he? He did. He, he just caught wrong side. Once he's got the acceleration, there's the pullback and there's the foul from behind. You can't do that no more. He still had a lot of work to do. Carvalho's in front of him. And uh, Xavi Alonso makes it easy for the referee there. You can't do that no more. Xavi will know that more so than anyone. Xavi might pick a hole, almost, here's Messi! Well, that's got to go down as a chance. You know, coming to Lionel Messi, on the half volley, edge of the box, you'd expect him to at least hit the target, and he doesn't. And you can see, Pep Guardiola not too amused. The side's going to have to work really, really hard if they're going to win this Copa del Rey in the next 25 minutes. You expect at least one. Could end up with two, and if he gets the Champions League in the Copa del Rey, that will be a satisfying first 12 months' work in Spain. Well, the first change is going to be made by Real Madrid. Um, Adebayor is stripped off and ready to come on, which is a very interesting and a very positive substitute for Jose Mourinho. Messi. Ramos doing a good job on David Villa. Xavi. Well, who do you think he's going to bring on, Kevin? Yeah. He's going to have to 
decide does he go with the two wide players on a, an out and out centre forward does he take one of the midfield players off like he did Xavi Alonso at the weekend here's Messi oh magnificent balance from Messi and what a pass Pedro Barcelona in front in the cup final but no flag up against Pedro after brilliant work from Messi well, what a run, absolutely scintillating run from Lionel Messi. Let's look again. Oh, he's leaning, maybe leaning slightly. It's a tight one, Kevin. That is very debatable. On another day, I think he'd have given that one. Great pass, great finish from Pedro. Big decision for that man. Well, I think he just about got it right. His head was maybe offside and his legs were level. Xavi, Pedro, back with Xavi, lifted up towards Messi and he's offside. Nice touch from Villa, return pass from Messi, David Villa takes on Carvalho, Good tackle. experienced head of the Portuguese international, very much to the fore there. Good tackle, there he is. Preventing Spain's top goal scorer, David Villa. 46 goals he's got now for the Spaniards. Oh, late decision on that. It's given though. That ball and taken quickly and given away by Di Maria. Busquets links with Messi. Alves. Barcelona looking much more of a threat now. Starting to look better, Kevin. I have to say they've just. The best I've seen them tonight, it's taken them, well, 55, 60 minutes to really get going. And I think that goal that was disallowed in the run from Messi has certainly sparked them. What a ball. Tremendous pass, Alves. Support here from Messi. Fine save, Casillas. Ramos just about helping it into the path of Kedira. Suddenly, Barcelona quicker to the loose balls all across the pitch. That wasn't the story in the first half. Messi with a brilliant passage of play. Pedro, chances here. Oh, and Casillas just claws it to safety. Looked like he was beaten there by the impish chip from Pedro. Barcelona banging at the door, the opening goal here. Well, it's a great save, I think. Fingertip save from Iker Casillas. He's tried to chip him. So far, a story of two distinct halves. Here's Messi. Free kick against Marcelo. He's starting to have more of an influence, so Messi now picking the ball up and running with it, Kevin. Messi bursting through in between two players. Pepe from behind just pushing him. And there's a foul as well from Marcelo. You can see he clips the heels. What about this pass? This is brilliant play. Danny Alves inside the Messi. Worst time shot, rebound. This is the one I'm talking about. Now, normally David Villa would hit that cleanly and put it in the back of the net. But when it comes back here, you can see David Villa snatches at it. It doesn't really make good contact. And against this team, it can take a while to get it back. Iniesta. Messi. Iniesta! Did he get a touch? Ike Casillas, he did. A corner, it's another great save from Ike Casillas. Right, he's been the saviour on so many occasions. Lovely football from Messi and Iniesta. Have a look, left foot. There it is, the left hand strikes it. Pushes it. Round the post, that's the fingertip save that was going in the far corner of the net. Madrid back here at the Mestalla to play Valencia. Barcelona with the eight-point lead over their eternal rivals. will be at home to Osasuna, certainly on paper an easier fixture. This is Pedro. Arbeloa scrambling back into position. Oh, Pepe's done well. Still work to do here against Messi. How did he extricate himself from that <laughs> position? Seemed impossible. 
He's incredible, this little man, five foot seven. I think at a stretch he's five foot seven, but he just doesn't give up, does he? He goes back and wins it back off Pepe, and well, this is where you think he's lost it, but he doesn't give up. He snicks it back off Pepe, keeps his balance, challenge of Arbelo, rides that, tries to go through Sergio Ramos. And that's what makes him special, Kevin. Well, do you remember, Jerry, a little over seven years ago? I remember you and I. Messi over the free kick. Away by Alonso. And it's all over. Real Madrid have broken Barcelona's stranglehold. Cristiano Ronaldo wins the Copa del Rey with that glorious header and just look at these scenes of celebration Jerry well it's a fantastic performance from Real Madrid they really have pulled out all the stops tactically you've got to say Jose Mourinho's done well first half I thought Real Madrid were the better side second half Barcelona totally overrun them but they held in there and Casillas made three or four magnificent saves both sides and you can see the disappointment with Messi and a lot of the the uh, Barcelona players, it will sow seeds of doubt. Their first Copa del Rey win since 1993, decided by that dramatic Cristiano Ronaldo header. We'll be back for the lifting of the cup, but meantime, it's back to Mark Bolton.